Hello Year 9s, so what you should hopefully have done from last week is that you should now have sketched out your biro black pen drawing. Um, so you should now have got those contour lines in and if you have maybe rubbed out all the extra lines that you don't need. If you haven't rubbed out the extra lines, it's no problem. It just, um, I find it easier because then I don't get confused by having too many lines. So right, what we need now then is you'll need a black fine liner or if you don't have one of those a black biro or both because you can use a combination completely up to you so with my image next to me the first thing I'm going to do is going to go over the lines that I've already drawn and just being really confident about them so I don't want anyone to kind of do scratchy scratchy lines like this I want you to have nice confident lines and you should be quite confident where you're putting your lines because you did all that hard work last week. Now, when I'm doing my eye pupils, I'm just leaving a couple of um, white areas just for the highlights. And then I'm just gonna put in the extra detail around the iris in there. And then again, just kind of putting in my lines that I need for my eye, okay? And again, gonna follow my lines in here and then just keep looking at my image continuously looking between the two and just thinking about where I need to have those if I've got one of those there I'm going to make those as my little horizontal lines just going underneath there and then I'm just going to bring that one up is into another one there and I'm just going to bring some horizontal lines into there okay and then these bits down in here where it's got the two I'm going to then bring in my lines again filling those areas into there okay so I can see then that they're just all starting to come together in around the eye all right again it's about being confident with that area as well so again behind this eye it's filled with that so again I'm going to do really long lines and I'm just going to use them around there as well and then that bit there I'm going to colour in just into there because then that bit there is where my eyebrow is going to be so you can see it's just starting to come to shape now when we're starting to do our nose we should already have those lines so i'm just going to put in where those dark lines are and i'm going to color in my nostrils so i can see kind of the shape here and again in around here coloring in my nostrils just so it makes it clearer for me just to see the shape of that nose and how it's going to come together then I can put in my first kind of line shape which goes up into here and I'm just going to draw in that second one that just comes off and around in there now this lines they follow this line it's going out kind of horizontal because it's showing the um, 3D nose so showing its curve so if you did a line that was going straight down on vertical, you wouldn't be emphasizing the fact that the nose is curving around, okay? So you need to make sure, really look at the direction of the line. And again, with the nose, you see here with the, here, that line there curves around. It's almost like the bubble, it curves around the bubble to show that it curves around. And then that line then continues up the nose itself okay and then again this one curves around the nostril there if i then do my other one again this side again that line is curving round the nostril i'm just going to draw in this one up here this one in around here and just again looking at the direction and again this one is going horizontal to show that again that side of the nose is coming up at like a point yeah because it's showing that it's the nose isn't flat on your face but it curves up and around and your lines about there to emphasize that idea all right i can then just put in that kind of one up here like so again when i'm using this one in around here i can then just I'm not pressing as firmly or as confidently with my pen on that one for the lighter one so these lighter ones that you can see on the face so these ones here with your pen or biro it's then about because obviously it's very hard to get different tones but you can press more lightly and that won't give you such a thicker line 
all right so it's then about being kind of thinking about how that then would almost give you a, a kind of a lighter less um more confident man but still confident but you can just still kind of show the different tones by how hard you press your pen so that's what you need to think about when you're creating those okay so you've got your eyes your nose when it comes to your lips again it's about just going around your lips like so and then again looking at the direction of the line and whereabouts so it's kind of emphasizing the fact that the mouth is just coming out and around and again it would be the lip underneath as well okay so then you would fill the lips and this one here just comes out and around into say and you can kind of have your lips coming out and around like that okay so then it's about kind of thinking about your thickness of line your direction of line whereabouts they go just to show on those now when it comes to your hair this is the bit where it's probably going to take the most amount of time when you create this so i would go back to your pencil and i would just start from the top and just block in you know how we did with our tonal drawing we talked about blocking again do the same similar thing with this now you really because it's all about kind of having that kind of flow with the hair now even though we've got this outline i would almost rub off the outline because you want some pieces to be even more kind of that movement of that hair that then comes off and around okay so that hair really does just come off and around the head and it's kind of then you might almost on here you can see that some bits are on top so i'm going to have some of these kind of blocks smaller blocks here and then having those kind of blocks that go that will be underneath just here and then again these blocks on top and again it's just about blocking in the hair so that you know all the direction and then again this will help you for when we start to apply the black pen or black biro to create that hair that movement and that texture so again i'm just going to rub off that line there just to kind of have a few little pieces of hair strands of hair that show that kind of almost that movement that goes around it okay now once you've done this you then need to look, so you've actually got, you see, some areas that are completely kind of almost um, really dark, really black. But even black, they're not coloured in, and but they are coloured in, but you still have little white areas. The whole reason is, even if you are colouring it in, please don't suddenly go, oh, this is a block, so I'm just going to colour it in like this. Every area, every strand, every kind of block, you must be making sure you're working from top to bottom of each of the block to show the direction and the flow that the hair is going. And that will then show the direction and the movement. So first things first is kind of almost block it in, going around it. So I'm just going to block in a few. Okay, and I would work kind of with a section to start with. I wouldn't go around all of them because then you can kind of start to see what yours needs. And if you need some kind of darker areas and some lighter areas. So I'm looking at the moment, this one here. So I'm starting to think, okay, so this one has some kind of darker areas, but it also has those strands. So I'm using that idea of going top to bottom. And I'm going to start to kind of put in that texture, that movement within that strand. So this one here has got a lot more kind of lighter areas it's got those textures and i can start to leave some of these as being quite white in some areas because but still those lines to show that texture of that hair okay when i've got this strand next to it again i'm just going to use my pen and still thinking about the direction so if it curves out and around my pen is once again going, but this one I'm going to do is a little bit darker. So I'm going to use more of my black pen to really emphasize how 
that bit there is maybe going underneath the other bit. And it doesn't matter actually if this one's a little bit kind of where you've got those um, kind of straggly lines because that then shows the texture as long as those lines are stirring in that same direction of the hair to show that kind of movement amongst it, okay? And then again, I'm just gonna bring in a small kind of block here. And you do, of course you can add more of those little blocks, those little hair strands if you want, just to kind of build it up. And again, I've got this strand in here. So again, and then it's a bit here, I'm gonna make it quite dark because that hair's coming out from underneath that one. But then it's hitting the light. So I'm just gonna put in those little highlights in there. Okay, and you can start to see it's kind of coming alive a little bit, all right? And just, you know, working it, using that, you know, I don't expect anyone to copy that perfectly, but using it as an idea of how that idea of using completely dark areas and using the idea of blocking to help that kind of textured hair and to show the movements. Just using all the knowledge from our tone, all the knowledge from our previous drawings of how to draw faces and how that then brings in the idea and showing our understanding that we can apply those basic, that basic, basic knowledge of blocking, of adding tone, thinking about how something's underneath would be darker, thinking about the movement, the texture within the hair to whether whatever media we are using. And remember, when you're doing this as well, just I want you to have in the back of your head, because when you come back to school, um, we'll obviously have a lesson just trying to stick everything in but then it'll be starting to think about your designs and thinking about what media you would want to use so as you're doing this thinking about okay if i use black pen what person would i want to draw because the homework that i'm also going to put on to teams and nines is that i want everybody to bring in a picture of someone who they would like to draw for their final piece so that can be a picture you've taken so it could be a family member it could be yourself it could be someone off the internet, but it has to be printed off A4 and it can't be a stylized drawing. It has to be a photograph, okay? But like I said, it doesn't have to be someone you've taken. Even better, it has if it's your own photo, but it can be anyone off the internet, but it has to fill an A4 page, all right? I would like that brought in with you to your first lesson back. Um, I'll put this all on Teams for you. Um, so don't worry about that, just to remind you. But um, if you do have problems with printing, then obviously you'll email your teacher. And again, I'll put this all onto Teams. Now you can start to see here that I'm starting to work on and starting to build up. So those ones I'm gonna be pushing back and then this one I'm gonna have in the, fore in the foreground again. So that's gonna be lighter. So I'm gonna leave more areas with using kind of within this style here where it's dark a bit more kind of areas that are left white but again the whole time I'm using my blocks and the whole time I'm using the direction of those individual blocks now knowing how long this hair will take and it's kind of like the showstopper almost is you might want to start your hair come to a bit of a face, go back to your hair, do another bit of a face. Because you don't want to get to the point where you've done half and then you get bored and then you mess up the other half. So, you know, change it up a little bit, a bit around as you go around your face to bring it all together. But that is what I would like you to think complete your lines. It's a beautiful pen drawing. Thinking about your lines, thinking about how you're bringing the texture of your hair. And then this one can just be brought straight back into school with you. You don't have to upload it. Um, and then obviously you've got your homework, which I put on Teams as well. If there's any issues with any of what I've just said, then please, please email your teacher or email me. I'm happy to answer any queries. And we look forward to seeing you back next week, Year Nines. Thank you very much.